All right, what's up, everyone? Uh, today with Kata Productions here. Uh, I'm doing this video specifically uh, about the CSI Control Surface Integrator uh, for Reaper. Uh, I'm gonna try and do this in uh, like a few segments, so that way, uh, you know, I'll break it up, I'll post them, it'll be a little easier, I think, for people to get what they need, I hope. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this from scratch. Um, uh, meaning you'll see in real time because previously a lot of my stuff is already set up uh, Today I'm going to go through it uh, in real time. So you'll get to you know, see what it's really like. All right now uh, So what I've got here is I've got you know Reaper uh, it's blank and um, None of my surfaces work right none of this stuff works right now. So um, You know, I can't hit play nothing nothing works uh, so I'm going to start from scratch. So let's go through this. Uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to um, need to download CSI. Uh, we get that. We can go to the forum and we can get it from there. Or um, I'll post a link to all of this stuff. But we're going to download that. Okay. I've already done that. Uh, I did that. It's here in my downloads. So we're going to open it up. Uh, what we're going to want to do in Reaper is... Uh, we're going to need to have the action list and we're going to need a uh, resource path, right? Show Reaper resource path because uh, it's going to be different for everybody. I'm using a uh, portable install of Reaper, okay? And you may or may not, so you'll need this. Now, uh, we're going to do two things here, okay? We're going to take the CSI folder, okay? That whole CSI. Oh, sorry, let me back up. Uh, if you're on a Mac, hopefully this stuff looks familiar to you because it doesn't, but you're going to probably want to do the same thing. Take your CSI folder for Windows. We want this one, CSI, and put it uh, right here in the main folder. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the DLL or th this. I think if you use something else, maybe you know what that is. Um, I don't know, but if you're on Windows, you want the 32-bit or the 64-bit DLL. Okay, and that's going to go in your plugins folder. Okay, just drag that right on over. Boom. Okay, so we've basically installed it. Okay, that's it. Next video. Uh, just kidding. Uh, because that's that's basically the installation, but uh, we have um, more stuff to do. Okay, uh, and before I do that, uh, I'm going to do uh, I'll I'll do two things. One, uh, I'm going to talk about the files here because the files will be very important to understand what they're for. They're very specific files, and you'll need to know these in and out. Um, for one, two reasons. One, because it's good to know that stuff. If you want to modify your stuff, you're going to need to know it. And two, because the learn function ha is no longer. So I, in one of my previous videos, I brought it up. Um, it's not in development anymore. So you're going to need to know this stuff if you want to, you know, kind of go full on. Some of this stuff is already made for you, but to really modify it, to customize it, to get the full potential of your particular setup, you're going to want to uh, know how to uh, modify all of this stuff, okay? So with that said, uh, we've got, this is what's going to be in your uh, folder, in your CSI folder. So the first thing we have, I'll go through the surfaces. I'm not going to talk about OSC because I'm not doing OSC at all. Um, so I have no idea what that is. I think some of the same concepts will uh, translate, but maybe not. So go to the forums if you want to know some OSC stuff. But I'm really just working with the MIDI and that's it. Okay. So in here we have what are called MST files. Okay. Now... MST, I don't know what this is, but the MST file is, um, let's go to, oh, this surface here is the uh, the QCon Pro X, all right? So I'm going to go there, and what you'll see is this is, uh, this is like addresses. That means like the particular button, when you push the uh, plug-in button, right, this particular button, that's the address that gets sent to whatever is going to be receiving it. In this case, it's going to be Reaper. Reaper is going to know when you hit that button that that particular button was hit. And that's all that's for. This is basically defining, it defines two things. It defines 
the button address and it also defines the button name okay so pan plugin bank left bank right okay it's important to know that because I will talk about that in the next file but your widget then says it's the name and then it gives an address sometimes there's a two state which means there's a feedback so in this case the plug-in button uh, it lights up something right that's the actual feedback so if Reaper then says okay when you press that push the light then it lights up okay and it basically defines every single button and every single fader on the whole surface okay that's the purpose of this file the MST file and it's important that you know you you recognize the name of them and we can do a couple of things here we can um, we can edit this so maybe we don't want this to say F1 maybe we want it to say we want to call it something different um, for the other file which I will talk about in a second but we can specify the name that we want whether we want it to correspond to this particular thing or not okay that's totally up to you but as of now um, a lot of these surfaces are defined so I also have a C4 you can see over here and the C4 has um, defines the display and then it defines uh, the pushes for all of these right because all of these rotaries they push uh, and then it defines the actual rotary um, so it defines the range of the rotary so all the way left all the way right that kind of thing um, so the purpose of these files these MST files is for um, the to define all of these um, widgets is what they're called in the in the file it's called a widget right a widget is a fader a rotary a button um, and it defines whether uh, like these are uh, motorized so they'll accept feedback whereas um, uh, it's off screen but right here is the X touch mini it's got a uh, you can see the fader there now uh, it's got a fader that is not motorized so it will not accept feedback so there's a lot of things you, you will define inside the MST file which will then translate to the next set of files all right so again that's in the surfaces folder of CF CSI MIDI and then those are the MST files a lot of them are already included for you I mean for instance the X touch mini is already here so everything uh, is set up now when you see the little dash there that's a comment so that means this is commented out so it's not actually part of the the code but everything is defined already so this is good because you can use this to get yourself started which I'm going to show you here and then you can also modify it um, as you need to and how to do that I think I've gone in more depth in one of my other videos but today I don't want to do that today I just want to get you started with CSI as it is okay uh, all right so the next set of uh, folders is going to be again we're not dealing with OSC so I'm not going to do that but zones zones is really like once you set up your surfaces and if you're lucky and it's already been set up here for you then you're good like don't change anything right and you probably will never touch that again now zones this is where things get um, really fun because this is where you are taking your uh, so here's the uh, QCon Pro X but as we can see there's nothing there it says recomp which is not what I want so I'm going to go back uh, because the I don't know if it will show up here but it says Mackie control mode selected for the uh, icon QCon Pro X so that means that we are basically have uh, like an, a Mackie MCU and so we're going to actually look at what's already here um, and defined inside CSI now these are the zone files okay zone files are going to um, take all of your button definitions that we've already defined right so we've got all of these different buttons here right and we'll see them they're they're labeled uh, uh, bank left bank right we saw that we saw um, you know send track pan uh, these are all buttons that are already um, defined on the surface and they've already been defined inside of the MST file now we're taking that and we're saying okay when that button is pushed 
do this action, okay? When this button is pushed, do this action, all right? Typically, they make sense. Bank left, you know, move it uh, backwards eight or forwards eight, all right? So this is where you're going to really uh, control Reaper with your surface, all right? So, so when you move this, you're, you've already defined the fader as um, uh, as the address of this particular fader, fader number five. Okay. Now, when you move it, and here is the channel. You see, we have fader is for track volume, so it's going to tell Reaper that whatever channel we're on, in this case five, okay, it's going to control that volume. But a lot of this stuff is already set up. All right. So. Um, the, the zone file is where you're taking your defined parameters and turning them into actions that Reaper will follow, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Your MST file defines your surface. Your zone file defines the actions uh, that each surface widget will do to Reaper, okay? So what? Now what do we do, okay? Let's open up we're going to go control p and this is reaper preferences okay all the way at the bottom we find control osc web we're going to click that and we're going to go to add page is going to define like a set of surfaces so um in fact i will call this um uh main mixer let's just say that okay and we want it to follow the mixer panel, okay? And then uh, use track coloring is like, kind of like a where am I? Uh, if you're like in Cakewalk, they had this where am I, W-A-I, and it would uh, have this little bar here. You would set up colors and the Reaper, I guess, will follow um, based on colors. Here, we also wanna sync pages and that's for multiple surfaces so that, you know, when you select a track, it kind of selects the same things for your other surfaces if it, corresponds that way okay and then also we want reaper to follow the surfaces i think that's going to be important so that you know when you're uh, banking or when you select a track everything is in sync okay including reaper so we're going to set that up now we need to add a midi surface remember you have osc which we're not going to do and then and then there's yukon which is something else i don't know anything about that but then we're going to add a midi okay and let's call this the Pro X, right? Because we already know it's going to be that. Uh, and um, so MIDI in, this is actually based on your real surfaces, all right? So you're going to want to make sure you pick the correct one. I have the new firmware 2.0 or 2.1, right? It's going to be the same in and out. It typically is. So this is actually what you have defined, all right? So um, just keep that in mind. Make sure you pick the right one. Now your templates, here you're gonna pick your MST file, all right? So we're going to use the Pro X MST. And then, but we're actually going to use the zone folder we're going to use we're going to use the MCU. I know that doesn't make sense. Oh, I should have changed that. I think I'll change that. But for now, let's just do this. Okay, so let's sync zones across surfaces. Again, that's um, that will be that's good if you have like a if you have um, the main unit and an extender. Okay, that'll be really good to do that. Um, we can auto map sends and auto map effects and um, we can auto map focused effects, but we're not going to do that right now. But I do like um, auto map sends and auto map effects, all right, because that's how I typically do my surfaces. So um, you can have an FX mini, which I'm not very good at. There's other people on the forums good at that, but then auto map focused effects is good. So when you bring up an effects, like when you click on it, um, in your uh, effects list, it will actually then map. So that's a pretty good one, but I don't do it that way personally. Okay, so we've added that. We've added that. Now we're gonna click okay. So now that we've closed that, we've got it set up. Let's, uh, let's push control T, add a track. And there we go. We can see that now we've got a fader. 
okay you can see it over here the fader works we've got feedback so if I move it on Reaper it responds in real time uh, if I control T you can see they all pop up one more discovery uh, if you have auto map sends enabled there's something funny that happens with now understand this is still in beta form so uh, there are some mistakes that are bound to happen all right don't worry about it sometimes that happens that's what the forum is for we're going to discover them and fix them if auto map sends is enabled then i had that funny uh when you select the track everything disappears issue all right now i think i got that resolved yep so now everything's working okay let's pick up where we left off oh man where was i so uh i talked about um how to download it how to install it the different file types in the structure okay um, and then also uh, the structure of the files and also the structure of, uh, you know, pages, uh, you know, your page for, and your surfaces, okay? So uh, now we've basically set it up, all right? If you, um, so we know that we can play, uh, we know that we can um, play and we can we can stop and uh, we can um, mute and solo and we can also record arm and we can record from here uh, we can undo all of that so just like that everything is working I know that kind of I it was a long way around all of that but we're in a good place now because we've got some very basic functionality with CSI uh, so where do we go from here well so for part two, uh, I will talk about um, how to uh, how to really modify the MST and the zone files, um, and also how to add multiple services.